What's going on DMG clan? Today I'm going to show you guys how to set up and build your own funny playing FPGA GBC in 2024. So let's level up our gaming knowledge and build your own GBC in under five minutes. So to start off, this guide is to help you put together your FPGA Game Boy Color. I like to start by getting everything ready and everything removed from its packaging. It's highly recommended to get a toolkit like the one shown on screen, along with a blue mat like this so that you can keep track of everything and don't short out any boards along the way. I have placed everything I think you should get in the description as well, so go check that out if you're still waiting for your parts to arrive. So after I got everything prepped, I cut a piece of Kapton tape to cover these solder points as it is recommended to do so on the Funny Plane website when testing the screen. It will also help keep your device safe from shorting out by mistake. When the tape has been placed, we will connect the screen for the first time to test and make sure there's nothing wrong with it. The ribbon cable only seats one way into the connector as seen here. Face the pins down with the black strip facing up towards you. Once the screen is connected, flip the motherboard around so that we can connect the battery using the push connector. The pins on the white connector facing downwards are how you push it down into the actual connection. Now flip the board back around so we can see the screen and slide the power switch up to check if the screen is working well. Once you confirm the screen is working well, we will start putting this all together. Start off with the top shell by placing all the buttons and the membranes in their corresponding spots. Make sure not to forget anything when placing this on top of your motherboard. Next, we'll remove the screen from the board and peel back the 3M adhesive tape using some tweezers so we can slide it into the front of the shell. It slides into the shell perfectly, so don't worry about aligning it as it's a perfect match. After you placed it, lightly rub your finger along the edge of the front of the screen to adhere it down to the shell. Do not put any major pressure here so that you don't crack the screen. Now connect the board back to the screen ribbon cable. Place your board on the left side of the front shell so that you can slide the ribbon cable into the connector on the board. Once it's connected, you can drop the motherboard into the front shell, lining it up correctly with the screw holes. Make sure not to forget the start and select membrane like I did, or you'll have to lift the board back out and place it inside. The speaker connector might have a dust cover over top of the connector on the motherboard, so pop it up by prying it upwards. There's a black circular rubber that places inside the speaker holder. It only goes one way. You'll notice the flat side just faces downwards into the actual shell. It's kind of like an L-shaped design. Now you will want to connect the speaker to the board first, then drop the speaker into the black rubber spot. It might be seen tedious, but it will drop in and you'll feel it being placed inside this rubber slot or this rubber elastic-y band feeling thing inside the speaker hole. Once you made sure everything is in place, we will screw the board to the front shell using the Phillips screws. The tri-wing screws are for the back plate to connect everything together. I used a PH0 bit for this, found inside that toolkit. There's also only two screws here. There's a third one, but it's not recommended to screw it in place because some have said it's too long. After the screws are in place, we'll feed the battery wire into the bottom slot of the back of the shell, then nicely push the connector from the battery into the push connection. You can use a plastic tool here to push it down as well, which is kind of nice and helps a lot. Now for the final screws. Place the back shell on the front shell, and then grab the tri-wing screws. There's six total. There's two under the battery, two in the middle, and two at the top. Once it's all screwed together, flip it over and turn it on for the very first time. Or maybe pop a game into it and start gaming. Bye-bye!